Hello students, I hope you're doing well. You should be getting your lab kit really soon. Um, I got my lab kit, so let's see it. Alright, so you'll get a box that looks something like this. And here you'll see there's a barcode. And you need to take a picture of yourself with this barcode just showing your name um, so that I know it's not a box and showing the hands-on lab so I know it's not just any old box that you have. Now that's what you need to submit to this first drop box is just a photo of you and your lab kit. Okay. Um, do that at any time. There's no drop box deadline there. Um, but that first lab, the Hardy Weinberg, is due on February 24th. All right, but I did want to get into my box and really show you what there is inside of this fun thing. If you have children, they would love to hang out with you when you do these labs. Um, and don't be afraid to take lots of pictures to help document what you're doing. All right, so when I opened my box, the first thing I saw at the top was a CD. And this has lots of valuable information in it. Stick this thing right into your computer. This is where the lab procedures are. Okay. The other very important thing is that you look at this contents list. Okay. You need to actually cross-reference everything that's inside of this box with this list. If there is anything missing, they have no obligation to send it to you um, free of charge unless you cross-reference this list within the first few days of receiving the box, okay? Now, if I were you, I would take all this extra packaging out. You can recycle that with your um, paper bags, but then keep the box so no one in your family messes with it and you have a nice spot um, to store all this stuff, okay? So you'll find that there's soil in the box. There are cups that can be used for planting, okay? Now, there are lots of little bags with various things in them. They're not necessarily organized within this box, okay? So while you're checking your packing list, you might actually separate all the materials out into the different labs and neatly keep them in this um, box. This is a plastic petri dish. This is a micro pipette. Here's your digital scale. Magnifying glass. Here's some chemicals wrapped up in plastic. Okay, remember you don't want your family or your dog uh, messing around with these chemicals. They are dangerous. Okay, so clear your area when you're working. Okay, another dissection kit. Here's some bins for growing stuff. All right, I hope you have a blast with this. It's really helpful to me if you can tell me your questions early in the week so that I can prepare something um, to share with you. And I don't like to uh, just fly off the handle. I like to do my research, too, and give you the best answer I can. So be sure to get into this box early right away. My suggestion is get ahead now. You have some time. The deadlines are, um, you know, you have this one coming up on the 24th, and then you have one on the 3rd. But um, if you can work ahead one week now, you'll be doing so great. And if anything comes up, um, you'll be totally prepared for some surprising event that might happen to you throughout the semester. Well, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions.